Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skelemistic. Welcome to a special edition of Fishing Tips, which is in the test realm. Today we're at Barkingham Palace and we're going to be talking about the fish fountain that's here. Notable fish that are in here are the Royal Grenard, which is a fire rare, and a Pit Bull Shark, which is an ice. There is also in here Storm and Balance Fish. And I'm not quite sure what those fish are. I know that the trash fish for ice is a frost decoy and there's a charred decoy in here for the fire trash fish. So I'm going to go ahead and catch a couple of fish here, a balance and storm, maybe a couple of those, and see what those kind of fish are, just so we know. I haven't fished for those kind of fish in this pond yet, and I'm a little bit curious to see what's in here. But I'm going to get rid of the ice and the fire for right now, and just fish the balance and storm. Oh. Well, not run into that balance, which that'll be good too. All right. Fire there. I think we've got them all. Balance storm is all that's left. There's a lot of balance, so I'm thinking we're going to have a lot of mainstream decoy. I'm going to fish just a couple, just to see what I come up with. Miss it by a mile. Maybe I'll even fish the pond out if I get really enthusiastic here. Look how he's dodging me, that storm is. I wonder what that is already. Let's see if I can get a little bit ahead of him. There we go. Okay, other tips about this pond. These fish can go up to that upper level, swim underneath the base of that statue entirely and come out and go back down to the main pond on the other side. This makes it really, really tough to keep an eye on them and you need to be scanning all the time and try to stay towards the edge of the pond. I got a jolted decoy for this stormfish. You'll be needing to scan all the time because they move, oh, insufficient energy. I'll go ahead and buy some energy really quick so we can finish this up. and see where we're at. Okay, more balance, more balance. I got two storms on the other side. I'll catch them out and see if I get anything besides a jolted decoy. In this, I don't know as far as live round goes, talking about fishing tips. I don't know as far as live round goes, but in test realm, it seems like all these ponds, and especially this one, your casting ha placement has to be just right. For some reason, they will not bite as easily as they do in the current live realm. You've got to get that lure right in front of the, I mean, not direct, oh, see, there we go. Okay, so, there's a storm in here that's a four-eyed grouper, which is awesome to know, because right now, the four-eyed grouper is only in the Emperor's Retreat, and you've got to go through a bunch of crap to get to it. So that's good to know we have four-eyed groupers in here. Awesome. Okay. I think there's one more storm, and now it's worth it to catch it. See what's in here. <laughs> now there's two more. There's one by the wall hiding. I didn't even see him. See what I mean? Look, he went right up through the fountain, through the wall even, and up into the upper water. Okay. So there's, for the stormfish, there are, is the four-eyed grouper and the jolted decoy. That's too close to his mouth. See, in the regular realm, that would he would have invoked on that, but not here. Anyway, good to know. I'm really learning this at the same time I'm showing you guys, for, for the most part. I haven't been to this pond at all before. I mean, it's in the test realm, it's new. And I'm only hearing about the fish that I'm trying to catch. I don't know for a fact that they're in here. I just, someone tells me, or leaves something in my comments, or what have you, and says, hey, there's, this fish is here or there, or whatever. And I go and check it out. I never know for sure that it's in there. Okay, another jolted decoy. I'll catch that one other storm that's in here. I'll find him first. Then I'll catch him and then I'll fish through these balance out to see if there's anything good in here. There's my other storm over here. That's going to leave me with two, four, six balance that I can see. Seven. There's one behind, behind the wall here. There's a lot of hiding behind the wall that goes on. Thank you, little otter. He double cast that detect for me. Ah, see how you turn? Look at him. 
So I guess they're making fish available that they had rather harder in the live realm. The four-eyed grouper. I've seen... Oh, what was the one I seen the other, t the other day? I saw another one out of the... Oh, yeah. The ninja fish and the samurai fish both. I've seen it in ponds in the test realm. And those you've got to go pretty, pretty far into Mushu for sometimes. So I think they're bringing a lot of those fish from the harder areas out. I would love to see them bring Musashi, uh, Musushi out. Because he's a pain in the butt to catch. I mean, they've brought, let's see, the brain sturgeon is out. The bearded trout is out in the uh, private fishing retreat. The Surgeon General, the Epic, is out in the private fishing retreat. So they're bringing a lot of these fish from these deeper, darker areas out where they're easier to catch. And I like that. Let's see. A Jolted Decoy. Okay, so we know there's a four white grouper and a Jolted Decoy in here for the Stormfish. We know there's Frost Decoy and a Pitbull Shark in here for Ice. We know that there is Charred Decoy and the Royal Grenard for Fire. Let's see what the balance is going to give us. I would... Well, I wouldn't think they would give me Crocotopian Eel in here. That's a balanced fish, but I don't think they give me a Crocotopian Eel in Marleybone. It doesn't make any sense. I, I would like to see that, though. Oops, wrong one. I need to cast, get to turn the balance. I'm messing up. Messing up big time. Catch these guys out of here and then we'll end the video, depending on what we catch. I expect at least five out of six of them to be mainstream decoy. Anywhere there's a mainstream decoy, there's a lot of mainstream decoy. Okay, we're going to end up with a mainstream decoy. I'm shocked. Get this guy come along from the side. Right onto him. There we go. See, now look, that big one on the left has to come right at me and get scared away. The, those, these decoys do that a lot. If you change direction, come right at me the minute this, boat, this fish can boat. Oh, good turn. Thank you. Thank you. That's why you want to try to stay to the edge of this pond as much as possible, though. There we go. This is my third balance. And he's taking his time as well. In fact, he's taking a lot of time. If this is not a mainstream decoy, I will be shocked. If this is not a mainstream decoy, I will go over there in the corner and dance for you guys. <laughs> I'm safe. I figured it was. Anytime they bite 15 times, it's a mainstream. See, look at that. He come right out of the bottom of the pond there. And I did not expect him at all. I just kind of saw like the tip of a shadow and played it cautious. Couple of three bites, couple of three bites, couple of three bites. Now, if this follows regular pattern, there'll be a fish in here besides a mainstream decoy for balance. But I don't yet. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. All right. I'm go here. I think there's two balance left in here. This is one of them. Look at him dodge me. Try to dodge me. I'd like to see one fish here that's not a mainstream decoy in the balance department. Just know what it is. Mm -hmm. 
Although he's biting like a mainstream decoy. Oh, there's there's his buddy coming out coming out of the fountain. See, I came out of the wall. That was like four or five. Gee, a mainstream decoy. I would never would have guessed. I believe that this one is the last one. This is our last chance to get something that's not a mainstream decoy in the balance department. Throw it out there and hope for the best. It's not going to be a hammerhead because the hammerheads are in the fishing retreat. I can't imagine what this fish would be if it wasn't a mainstream decoy. bites. What we got? Yep, a mainstream decoy. They've been all mainstream decoys. If you guys catch something different, make sure to go ahead and leave me a note about it in the comments section of the video for this. But for now, let me close all this out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series you'd like me to play. Or if you catch a fish in here that you haven't seen, that I haven't shown you, Please, leave me a comment tell me about it. I'd like to catch it myself. If you want, just leave me a comment to talk to me or to ask a question. That's fine, too. I'd love to talk to you guys back. This is Skele Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, gamers? This is Skele Mystic. Welcome to a special edition of Catch It Fast Fishing Tips for the Test Realm. Today, I am in the place called Upper Zigazag. And I have been fishing through this pond just to see what all fish there are so that I can let you guys know and what the fishing conditions are, that kind of thing. So far as this pond goes, it's a nice small pond. It's one of the better ones because you can get into it and